Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of our VBA XML series. In this part we are going to go over how to read from XML file. But before we proceed, I want to go back, take a step back and review what we did in last tutorial. So this is the code we used for our last tutorial. And we added data to our XML file. Okay, this is how it looks like. We have one product in our list. Okay, um, I'd like to add a couple more products, but slightly different way. So I'm going to use the sample data here and add it to our XML file. Okay, so already we did the orange, so I'm going to continue with this too. Okay, let's go back to our Visual Basic. Um, for application editor and let's make some changes here so instead of one I'm gonna comment this out I want this to grab the value from here so that will be a3 so I'm going to say active sheet dot range a in double quotes a3 close double quotes close prints dot value okay so that's going to get value of 2 from here and add to our XML file uh, likewise I'm going to the same thing here active sheet dot range uh, this time it's going to be B3, B3, open close, trans, open close, double codes, dot value. Okay. Alright, so if we did correctly, when I run this, it should add the number 2 and Apple to our XML file. Let's run this. Let's refresh our XML file. Okay, perfect. So we added Apple, and let's go ahead and add the um, banana as well. So A4 this time, B4, A4 for ID, B4 is for the name. Let's run this one more time, and refresh the file, and we have three products. Okay, now let's go back to our code that we are going to use for this tutorial. All right, so I call this sub as read XML file. Um, I have one, two, three variables, two object types. Doc is the one we used before, so you guys are familiar with that. Prods, short for products, also an object type. That's what we're going to use to target our nodes. Okay. Um, and we've seen this before, we say in the file path to the file name and the full path. We say in the doc object to create object and all that good stuff. We already seen that. And then we're loading the file, which also we have seen. Um, here we are selecting all product nodes. So we are setting the product prods variable to doc dot select nodes in prints open close double codes op open close double slash and name of the node which is product so we're selecting one two three nodes here okay once we select those nodes we are looping through the nodes and we are printing in this window here we're going to print in this window immediate window that's what we use debug print for debug dot print and then we're saying p dot this guy here the product node we sell, we're looping through child nodes zero child node zero refers to the id the id tag id element or id node and we are grabbing the text value, which is the value between two ID tags. OK, 
okay and then we are adding a space and then we are grabbing the child nodes p dot child nodes one which is the name node and the value text we're grabbing text which is the value okay so if this is all good when we run this it should print all the products listed down here okay and there you have it we ran it and we have all three products listed okay we can also do something similar as we did here and um, we can print in the excel sheet let's say i want to print starting from a6 below um, let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to say active sheet dot range um, a uppercase lowercase doesn't really matter i think i mean we used lowercase up here worked so uppercase should work as well so here i'm going to use a variable okay let me actually delete this and set a variable up here i'm going to say i equals six okay let's indent this properly now i'm going to pass in within double codes a and i'm going to pass that variable so the first one is going to be a6 okay and then I'm going to say dot value equals I'm going to copy and paste from here copy paste oops I was too I wasn't right okay so this is going to get the ID value and then let's copy and paste this line and here I'm going to say B branch B6 equals child nodes P dot child nodes one okay dot text okay so this should print the list starting from a6 okay let's get and run oh and then finally i have to increase the value of the i so i is equals i plus one okay let's get and run this and there you have it Print it here and we print it in the window here. Okay, All right, so that's reading data from XML file. Um, thanks for watching. I see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Have a great day.